as you still remember, uh, on Monday, we started our lesson, which is about the triangles, and it's part one of our lesson. We said that a triangle quickly, a triangle is a polygon or a geometrical shape. It has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. I showed you the sides, I showed you the vertices, and I showed you the angles in a triangle. Then we practiced an exercise. We named the three sides, we named the three vertices, and we named the three angles. After that, we said a very important sentence, which is the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. And we have seen in two triangles, if we added the measure of the angles of the first triangle, we get a 180 degrees. And in the second the triangle, if we added the three measures, we get a 180 degrees. We started talking about special kinds of triangles. I want, please, uh, I want Asil to read. Yes, Asil, please read. What are the special kinds of triangles, Asil? Please, before yes. Asil, listen, Asil, before Asil starts, I don't want to see anybody raising his or her hand. Lower your hands, please. Asil, start. Number one. Okay, Kaleem triangle, right triangle, isosceles triangle. Isosceles, equilibrium. isosceles, Asil, isosceles. Isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, right isosceles triangle. So we will be talking about each kind of these triangles. Last time we started talking about the first two kinds of special triangles. Quickly, number one, Hassan, uh, Hassan Bawab. Number one, what is a scalene triangle, Hassan Bawab? Read, scalene triangle. Hassan Bawab. It is a normal triangle with no equal side. Sambor. Eh. Samitak Hassan, yal. It is a normal triangle with no equal sides, no equal angles, and no right angle. So, a scalene triangle, as you said, Hassan, it is a normal triangle. It has no equal sides in it, no equal angles in it, and it has no right angle in it. So, it is a normal triangle with nothing special in it. Number two, Angelina, the right triangle. Please, what is a right triangle? Read. A right triangle, it has one right angle. So we said in any triangle, Angelina, we have three angles. This is an angle, this is an angle, and this is an angle. When we talk about a right triangle, one of the angles only measure 90 degrees and it is a right angle. So as you can see, in this triangle, this is the right angle here, it measures 90 degrees. I want you to look at the second right triangle. In any right triangle, we have a right angle. This is the right angle. I want you to see the opposite side to the right angle, the side facing the right angle. If this is the right angle, so this is the opposite side, this line or this side is opposite to the right angle. Always in a right triangle, the side which is opposite to the right angle, we call it a hypotenuse. So the side opposite to the right angle has a name. It is called a hypotenuse. As you can see, this side and this side, they are perpendicular to each other since they form a right angle in between. So please never forget, always in a right triangle, I see the right angle. Always the side opposite to the right angle or the line which is opposite to the right angle, we call it a hypotenuse, hypotenuse. The two other sides, this side and this side, which are the height and the base, these two sides 
because they form a right angle in between, we say that these two sides are perpendicular to each others. Please, I want Danielle to read. Yes, Danielle, read down here in a right triangle, Danielle. Yes, Danielle. In a right triangle, the side opposite to the triangle is called the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, Danielle, listen to me. Repeat after me. Hypotenuse. Repeat after me, Danielle. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Again, repeat the sentence, please. In a right triangle. Hypotenuse. Repeat the sentence, please. In a right triangle. In a right triangle, in a right triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. Yes, the other two sides. Continue, Danielle. Are perpendicular. Thank you, Danielle. Again, please. I the other want... two sides are perpendicular. Thank you, Danielle. I want to please Samia to read again these lines in a right triangle. Yes, yes ma'am. Um, in a right angle, the side in opposite a right to the right. Yeah, Samia, Habibti. Oh, triangle, sorry. In a right sorry. triangle. The side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are perpendicular. So if I asked you to define a hypotenuse, you say the hypotenuse is a side which is opposite to the right angle in a right triangle. So the hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle in a right triangle. So a right triangle, one of its angles measures 90 degrees and it is a right angle. So this is 90 degrees. So triangle, this triangle is right. Because this is 90 degrees, so this is triangle is a right triangle and the side opposite to the right angle, we call it a hypotenuse. Any question about this Kalini triangle and the right triangle, guys? No. 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 Any question about this? We should study the definitions of a scalene triangle and of a right triangle well. Okay? Yes, miss. These two angles, these two triangles are pretty easy. The scalene triangle is a normal triangle and the right triangle just has one uh, right angle. Yes, let me continue now to the other special triangles. Number three, we have the isosceles triangle. Please repeat the names when you hear me saying them by yourselves. Isosceles triangle. When we talk about an isosceles triangle, the definition is this triangle, which is the isosceles triangle, it has two equal sides and two equal angles. So in an isosceles triangle, we have two equal sides and two equal angles. We said in any triangle, we have three sides and the three angles. When we talk about an isosceles triangle, this triangle is special because two of the sides are equal and two of the angles are equal. Before looking at, at the triangle one here, let me talk about, <coughs> sorry, triangle EDF. So the name of this triangle is, <coughs> we said to name a triangle, we name it by the three vertices. This triangle is EDF. As you can see in this triangle, because it is an isosceles triangle, the two equal sides are ED and EF. As you can see here, we have a dash on ED and a dash on EF. This, that, these two dashes tell me that side ED is equal to side EF. So again, in triangle EDF, we have two equal sides, ED and EF. 
As you can see, the two sides ED and EF are coming out or issued from the vertex E. So because they are coming out from the vertex E, we say that E is a special vertex. In every isosceles triangle, we have a special vertex. Why is this vertex special? Because the equal sides are coming out or issued from the special vertex. So since ED is equal to EF, the special vertex is E. How many vertices I still have other than E? Who can tell me? What are the vertices Mills. I still D have? F. I still have D what? D, D and F, yes. So since E is the special vertex, we also said that we have two equal angles in an isosceles triangle. The two equal angles will be on the other two vertices. On vertex D, there is an angle, and on vertex F, there is an angle. So the equal angles are E, D, F, and E, F, D. Again, triangle EDF, because the isosceles triangle is a very special triangle, I'm stressing on it. So in any isosceles triangle, we have a special vertex. Why is this vertex special? Because the two equal sides are issued or coming out from the special vertex. Here, the special vertex is E, since ED, is equal to EF. So the two equal sides are coming out from the vertex E. Where are the two equal angles? Let us keep E away or aside. I still have vertex D and vertex F. So the two equal angles are on vertex D and on vertex F. How can we name the angle at vertex D? It is EDF. Let's name the angle at vertex F. Always the name of the vertex should be in the middle. EFD. This angle and this angle are equal to each others. Let me read these lines. All isosceles triangles have a special vertex. Why? From where the equal sides are issued. Issued means they are coming out. And we have in an isosceles triangle a special side. Why is this special side? It is called a base. It is opposite to the special vertex. So if E is the special vertex, which side is opposite to E? Who can tell me? Which side is standing opposite to E? Can you name the side, guys? What's the name of yes, this side? Yes. Yes, D side DF is opposite to E. So side DF, since it's opposite to the special vertex, we call it a base. And the equal angles, as you can see, are on the base. We have angle at D, we have angle at F. They are equal to each others. Please, I want Lamar Soufan to read the definition of an isosceles triangle. Yes, Lamar Soufan. Okay, miss. It has two equal sides please and two equal say, angles. Please say the name of the triangle first. Isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides and two equal angles. Continue, Lamar. All isosceles, isosceles triangles have a special vertex from where the equal sides are, are issued. And a special side called the base, opposite to the special vertex. The the equal angles are on the base. Okay, thank you, Lamar. So now you may ask me, how can we know the special vertex? Always, whenever you are given as an isosceles triangle, you will be told about the special vertex. Listen to me carefully. For example, I will tell you E, D, F, is an isosceles triangle of vertex E. 
So the special vertex will be E. Always whenever I, I talk about an isosceles triangle, I will tell you what is the name of the special vertex so that you can know who are the equal sides and who are the equal angles. To know the equal sides, you simply say E, D, E, F, because they are coming out from E. To know this, the, the equal angles, you keep E aside and you say we have an angle at vertex D and an angle at vertex F. Again, to name the angles, we use the three vertices, but the vertex where I'm naming the angle should be in the middle. So if I am naming the angle at vertex D, D should be in the middle. So it is E, D, F. If I am naming the angle at vertex F, then F should be in the middle, E, F, D. The side opposite to the special vertex, this side, which is DF, is always called a base in an isosceles triangle. Any question about the isosceles triangle, guys? No. No. No, miss. No question about the isosceles triangle? No. Okay. No. Let me move. Easy now. mistake. Yes, Hassan. I think it's easy. The isosceles triangle just has two equal sides, and the and it has a special vertex and a special side. And the special side is opposite to the special vertex. Yes, Hassan. But is I want you. I want to tell you something. Always, whenever you are given an isosceles triangle and you know the special vertex, you should know how to name the equal sides and the equal angles. Okay, Hassan. Okay. Number four, number four is the equilateral triangle. Let me talk a little bit about the word equilateral. Equilateral is two words, equi and lateral. Equi means equal. Lateral, lateral means three. The word lateral means number three. Why do we call it an equilateral triangle? I want Hassan Zainuddin to read the definition of an equilateral triangle. Please read Hassan. It has three equal sides and three equal angles. Each angle measures, measures 60 degrees. Thank you, Hassan. So because it is equilateral and lateral means the three, in this triangle, the three angles are equal. The three angles have the same measure. Each angle measures 60 degrees. Who can tell me how did I know that each angle measures 60 degrees? Who is the smart boy or girl here that can tell me why in an equilateral triangle, each angle measures 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees? Yes, Samia, why? Because all the line, because all the sides in an equilateral triangle are equal. I'm talking no, about, Samia, I'm talking about the angles. How did I know that each angle measures 60 degrees, not 40, not 50? Why 60? Who can tell me? Mimi. Me, me. Yes. But if we add 60 plus 60 plus 60, it should give us 180 degrees. Yes, we said that in an equilateral, in any triangle, the three angles together have a sum of 180 degrees, guys. Since the three angles are equal, so if we divide 180 by three, I will get each one measures 60 degrees. So each angle in an equilateral triangle measures 60 degrees. Please, I want to ask Ghadi. Yes, Ghadi. Yes, miss. Can you, Ghadi, name the angle at vertex E in triangle EFG? Name the angle at vertex E, Ghadi. EFG. E Ghadi. Ghadi, Habibi. Yes. Ghadi. If I want to name the angle at vertex E, 
E should be in the middle. Yes, what is the angle at vertex E, Ghadi? G, E, F. Yes, or G, F, E, F e, or F, E, G. Thank you, Ghadi. I want, please, uh, Hassan, uh, Hassan Fuane to name the angle at vertex F. What is the name of the angle at vertex F, Hassan Fuane? The name of the vertex at F, uh, F is EFG. Bravo, ya Hassan. The name of the angle uh, Hadi Sibrawi at vertex G. What is the name of this angle, Hadi? Vertex G. Yes, name the angle at vertex G, Hadi. Hadi, whenever you want to name an angle, you use the three vertices and the G should be in the middle. E. Hadi, after me. E. G, e F. E G. E G. F. Yes. So each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Not only this, also the three sides are equal. So EF is equal to EG is equal to FG. If EF is four centimeter, for example, EG will be also four centimeter and FG will also be three centimeter. So again, please, I want Ali Shughri to read the definition of an equilateral triangle. Yes, Ali Shughri, equilateral triangle. Hurry up, Ali. Yes, Miss. Equilateral triangle. It has equal sides and three equal angles. Each angle measures 60. Yes, thank you. For example, in triangle X, Y, Z, it is an equilateral triangle. The equal sides are X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z. The equal angles are the angle at vertex X, Y, X, Z. The angle at vertex Y, X, Y, Z. The angle at vertex Z, X, Z, Y. Any question about the equilateral triangle? Guys? No, no, no miss. Okay. The last special triangle no. is, thank you. Number five, the last special triangle is the right isosceles triangle. Right isosceles triangle. Because it is right, it has a 90 degrees angle in it. Because it is isosceles, so it has two equal sides and two equal angles. Again, a right isosceles triangle, it has a right angle, two equal sides and two equal angles. For example, if this triangle is right isosceles, this is the right angle here. What do we call the opposite side to the right angle? Who can remind me? What do we call this side in a right triangle, guys? Hypotenuse. Bravo, hypotenuse. The two angles, this angle and this angle are equal. Each angle is 45 degrees. Because if we add 90 degrees, plus 45 degrees, plus 45 degrees, we get 180 degrees. So this is the right isosceles triangle. Read it again, please, Leia. Right isosceles triangle, yes. Yes, Leia. No Leia here. Uh, Lamarche have read right isosceles triangle. Yes, miss. It read. has a right angle, two equal sides, and two equal angles. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, La Lamar. Now yeah. let us practice this exercise. Before I start this exercise with you guys, please. This is for your own good. This is for your own sake. Today, when you finish all your classes, write all the definitions, study them, and again, practice this exercise. The exercise I'm doing now is a very important exercise. Let us read the question. 
specify the special elements in the following triangles. As you can see here, we have special triangles in every one of these. In part A, I want please in part A, uh, Tala to read. Read part A, Tala. Yes, miss. Triangle uh, EFG is uh, equilateral. 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 Okay. Let me again talk about the question. Specify the special elements in the following triangles. What do I mean by special elements? If in a triangle we have equal sides, we should say what are the equal sides. If we have equal angles, we should say what are the equal angles. If we have a right angle, we should say what is the right angle. If we have a hypotenuse, we should name the hypotenuse. These are the special elements. Yes, Tala, stay with me, please. Triangle EFG is equilateral. Can you tell me, Tala, what does an equilateral triangle have? Yes, Tala. Tala, please read the definition of the equilateral triangle again. Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle, it has three equal sides and three equal angles. Each angle measures 60 degrees. So an equilateral triangle has three equal sides and three equal angles. So in this equilateral triangle, EFG, we should name what are the three equal sides and what are the three equal angles? How can we name them, Tala, from the name um, of the triangle? Can we please? Yes, the EF. The, the, the first side is EF. Yes. And uh, EG. And? And FG. Bravo, ya Tala. EF is equal to EG is equal to FG. Can you name the equal angles at each vertex, Tala? At vertex E, what is the angle? EFG. Listen, if I am naming the angle at vertex E, Tala, E should be in the middle. Oh, okay. Um, FEG. Bravo. Name the angle at vertex F. E F G. Bravo. Name the angle at vertex G. E G F. Bravo. What is the measure of each angle, Tala, in an equilateral triangle? 60 degrees. Bravo, ya Tala. So we named the equal sides and the equal angles. Thank you, Tala. Now I go to Adam in that G. Yes, Adam. Part B. Adam. Adam. Kareem, are you here? Yes, miss. Kareem, part B, DEF is an equilateral triangle. Again, Kareem, what does an equilateral triangle have? Equilateral triangle has uh, three equal angles, three equal sides, but three, bus. three equal sides and three equal angles, right, Kareem? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, please, from the name of the triangle DEF, name the equal sides. The equal sides are EF. No, Karim, start from D. DE. DE. DF. DF. And EF. EF. These three sides are equal. Name the equal angles, Karim. At each vertex, we have an angle. Name the angle at vertex D. D, E, F. No. If I'm naming the angle at vertex D, Karim, D should be in the middle of the name. Middle. Oh, okay. So, like, it, could, it should be, let's say, E, D, F. Yes. Name F the angle at vertex E. E, uh, D, D, E, F. Name the angle at vertex F. D, E, F. D, F, E. Bravo. These are the equal angles. Now in part C, I want please part C to be solved by 
سلمان يس سلمان لانا ار يو هير لانا مس سلمان سلمان يس اوكي كي ال ام از ا رايت ترينجل ات فيرتكس ال Yeah. Right triangle, Salman. What does a right triangle have in it? 90 degrees. One right angle, Salman. What does it have in it? One, Salman, it has one right angle. What does a right triangle have? Okay, Salman, مش عم بسمعك. آه خليني نروح لعند هاي. لانا يس لانا انت معي لانا لا لانا كي ال ام از ا رايت ترينجل ات ال اي اسك ماي سيلف وات داز ا رايت ترينجل هاف لانا لانا Okay, guys, before our time finishes, please, today, write the notes you have until next Monday. Study all the Sorry, definitions. Study all the definitions of this lesson and the practice solving this exercise. We will solve this exercise next Monday before we start something new. Any questions, guys? Miss, yes, Miss. 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 Miss